The parents of a teenage boy accused of killing four students at a high school in Michigan this week have been charged with involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors allege the parents are partly responsible for the shooting spree because of negligent behavior. The CBC's Magda Gabrasalasa is following the story from Washington. So Magda, how did prosecutors explain these charges? Well, we heard the prosecutor today talk about witnesses and text messages and social media posts all leading to these charges. And it is really significant to see the parents of an accused school shooter now facing charges themselves. The pro prosecutor was clearly sending a message here. And this, of course, all comes after Ethan Crumbly was accused of shooting and killing four of his classmates this week and injuring several others. The prosecutor said there's evidence that shows his parents not only bought the gun for the 15-year-old, but that they did nothing when the school flagged that there were serious, serious concerns and serious issues leading up to the shooting. Now, the prosecutor described social media posts, text messages uh, leading up to all of this, including ones that described the gun being a gift for the teen. Uh, then the prosecutor said there were two incidents involving the teen at the school, one where he was allegedly caught searching for ammunition on his cell phone while in class. And she said that after this, the mother sent the teen a text saying, quote, LOL, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn not to get caught. Then the morning of the shooting, the prosecutor said that the parents were called in after a note was found on the teen's desk. It allegedly contained concerning drawings, including that of a semi-automatic handgun, a bullet, and uh, a person who appeared to have been shot and bleeding. And written on this note, uh, allegedly, were, were phrases and quotes and words that said, quote, blood everywhere and the thoughts won't stop, help me. Now, listen to how uh, McDonald, the prosecutor, says the parents failed to sh follow up at that moment. Both James and Jennifer Crumbly failed to ask their son if he had his gun with him or where his gun was located and failed to inspect his backpack for the presence of the gun, which he had with him. Now, Crumbly was allowed to return to the classroom, and the shooting, of course, took place later that afternoon. The teen has now been charged as an adult and is facing terrorism charges. And now his parents, Jennifer and James Crumbly, have now been charged with four counts of involuntary, man, mur involuntary uh, um, murder. And, and what about school officials and their potential responsibility? Yeah, so that's something that the prosecution uh, was at, the prosecutor was asked about today, and she couldn't say whether school officials actually asked to check his bag and ask for any responsibility they may have on their end. She said the investiga investigation is continuing. Meanwhile, a, a school superintendent posted a video response yesterday saying that there were no disciplinary records on Crumbly at the school, and yet we heard today that twice teachers flagged there were issues. So it's likely we'll be hearing more about this as the days go on. All right, Magda, thank you. That's the CBC's Magda Gabrasalasa in Washington.